the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, today the church keeps the memorial of St. Bonaventure, Bishop and the Doctor of the Church, who through his writing and through his preaching stood for the truth of the Catholic Church, very especially in the Council of Lyons. In the first reading today, the Lord warns the King Hezekiah through his prophet Isaiah, Put your house in order. Hezekiah was seriously mortally ill and he was on his deathbed. So when the Lord God speaks through his prophet Isaiah, put your house in order meant put your life also in order. And when he does that, when he prays with his tears, the Lord hears his prayer as well as he sees his tears and then brings consolation and peace to him and adds some more years to his life. Therefore, dear friends, it's very important that we put our life in order in the eyes of God. We may be very successful in the eyes of the world, but in the eyes of the Lord, we may not be acceptable. In the Gospel today, the Lord speaks about the action of His disciples who ate the wheat grain on Sabbath. The Lord justifies their action. The accusation the Pharisees made about the disciples was not that they ate the grains of the others. It is not the stealing. In fact, the law allowed them, if anybody is hungry, they can pluck the grains through their hands and they can eat to ease their hunger from the others' field. And I mean, in a standing crop. But only thing, they should not use the sickle to cut and to make food for themselves. Which means, in compassion and mercy, People who are hunger can, can ease their hunger in the other's field on a journey, those pilgrims. To ease their hunger, the Lord allowed on the basis of compassion. Therefore, the disciples eating the grain was not the breaking the law according to the Pharisees. But the day they did it on, on Sabbath, the day in which they were not allowed to do an action, the action of the apostles, plucking the grain, thrashing it against their hand, almost equaled to the harvesting. The law of Sabbath, the Lord God commanded them not to work, not because to make them lazy, but to realize that it is the Lord God who is the true worker in the world. It is out of His providential will, the world, the cosmos is in order. Therefore, the Lord told that day, neither you nor your own housemates nor your animal should work but rather realize the meditate upon the goodness and the kindness of the Lord the Lord never said that you shall not help those who are in need or on Sabbath you shall not be compassionate but it was the human made laws that made in order to safeguard that law of Sabbath there were so many other laws that came into being which inhibited man to show compassion to those who were in need. It is this law the Lord condemns and says, Have you not read how David and his friends, when they were hungry, went into the temple and ate the show bread? Or do not, or not your priests work on Sabbath in the temple? Yet, it is not considered as the break of the Sabbath law. Therefore, the Lord, the Lord upholds the commandment of mercy and love greater than the commandment of sacrifice and the law. Dear friends, the commandment that Jesus gave us was commandment of love and service. Love one another as I have loved you. It is the sincere love that covers multitude of sins. A sincere love, a love which is unselfish, includes obedience to all the commandments. Let us pray that we may grow day by day more in this kind of love. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.